Namaste children. Today we are going to learn something new on triangles. Before that, let us recap what is a triangle. Yes, a triangle is a three-sided polygon with three vertices. Now observe the sides of a triangle. Yes, they are all connected to each other end to end to form a closed figure. Now on the screen you are seeing three different triangles. Right? What is the difference between these three different triangles? Yes, in few triangles the sides are of different lengths. In one triangle, the sides are of equal lengths. The angles formed by the sides are different. Right? Now let us learn about the types of triangles. The different types of triangles are classified according to the length of their sides and as per the measure of the angles. The basis of sides lengths, the triangles are classified into the following types. They are equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. On the basis of angles, triangles are classified into the following types. They are Acute angled triangle, right angled triangle and obtuse angled triangle. Yes children, now we are going to do an interesting activity that is the paper folding activity. By folding the paper, we are going to make different types of triangles. Let's see. How we can make all these different types of triangles we have studied by folding the paper. So let's get started. To make an equilateral triangle, take a rectangular paper and mark two points A and B at the base. Now measure the side AB and here it is about 21 centimeters. So side AB is of 21 centimeters. Now fold the paper exactly to the half so that the longer edges meet. Yes. So when we open the paper, we get an imaginary line like this. Now, hold point A and place point B on this imaginary line. See that point B meets any point on this line formed by folding the paper and mark that point as C. Now fold the paper from A to C in this way. In the same way fold the paper from B to C. So a triangle is formed. A triangle A, B, C is formed. Now let's join the points A, C. B, C. Now a triangle is formed by folding the paper. Now let's measure the sides in an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. So we have to get AC length as 21. 
Now see AC length is equal to 21 centimeters. In the same way BC length also should be 21 centimeters. So we got an equilateral triangle by folding the paper equally. So we get AB as 21 centimeters, AC 21 centimeters and BC 21 centimeters. So this is an equilateral triangle. Now take a rectangular paper and mark two points, point A and point B on the shorter side of the rectangle. Now fold the paper in the middle in such a way that the longer sides meet each other. In this way. Now open the folding and mark any point here and name it as D. This D divides A and B equally. The line AB equally. On this imaginary line, on this line, which we get by folding the paper, mark any point as C. Now, fold this the paper from C to B in this way. In the same way from A to C fold the paper. Now a triangle is formed. Let's mark it. A, B and C. A triangle A, B, C is formed. Now let's measure the sides of the triangle. So the line B, C, the side B, C measures about 18 centimeters. And the side A, C measures about 18 centimeters. So what kind of triangle is formed here by folding the paper? It is an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, two sides are of equal length. To make a scalene triangle, fold the paper such that it is divided into two unequal parts. Like this. Now mark any point on this line in this way. So now here we got a point here and name it as A. At the other end mark another point B and a point C. Now fold the paper such that A and B join together. And A and C also join together. Now we get a triangle. Join the points using a marker. Now let's measure the sides of a triangle. AB measures about 17 centimeters. AC measures 
टेन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स एंड बी सी मेजर्स ट्वेंटी वन सेंटीमीटर्स नाउ इन दिस ट्राइंगल ऑल द साइड्स आर ऑफ डिफरेंट लेंथ सो इफ ए ट्राइंगल इज हैविंग साइड्स विद डिफरेंट लेंथ देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज ए स्केलेन ट्राइंगल to make an acute angled triangle take a rectangular paper hold this corner and fold the paper in this way so that the corner meets the side at point a mark this point as a now fold this vertex this paper so that this corner joins this corner and you get the midpoint of the longest side of this triangle now fold hold point a and mark the point below the midpoint of this right angle triangle like this here we get the point c now mark the other corner as b now join ac bc and ab so we got the triangle abc with all the three angles as acute now let's check the angle bac measures 70 degrees celsius 70 degrees point cba measures 45 degrees and point a b c measures 65 degrees now all the angles in this triangle are less than 90 degrees so this is an acute angled triangle to make an obtuse angled triangle take a rectangular paper like this in an obtuse angled triangle one angle will be greater than 90 degrees now in this rectangular paper we have to fold the paper in such a way that the opposite shorter sides meet each other in this way yes now fold the paper like this from the base this way now open the paper foldings we see a triangle formed here let's mark the triangle as a b and c let's join the points bc 
and AB. Now a triangle is formed ABC. Now let's measure the angle formed here by folding the paper. It measures about 125 degrees. So, this angle is 125 degrees. That is greater than 90 degrees. So, this is an obtuse angled triangle. Take a square paper. In a square paper, you have each and every corner measuring 90 degrees. So, all the angles in a square are 90 degrees. Now, to make a right angle triangle, we fold the paper diagonally so that the two corners, two opposite corners meet. And now we get a right angle triangle and this angle measures 90 degrees. Let's measure this angle. So this is 90 degrees. So this triangle is called as a right angle triangle. So this is called as a right angle triangle.